Hey everybody, it's another daily vlog at Bro Seriously. My name is Dustin, and today we will be talking about Jared's blog, Side Quest Size Matters. Uh, big shout out to Kel for helping out with the daily vlog on Tuesday. It was an awesome one talking about the podcast. So big shout out to him. Go check that out if you haven't seen it yet. Um, besides that, though, today, though, we're going off, off sequence. We're going off, uh, you know, uh, just a typical thing we usually do on Thursdays. And we're going to talk about uh, the blog since we, did, since we didn't do it on Tuesday. Um, and this one, I think Side Quest is probably my favorite blog series that Jared does uh, for, for us here. Um, you know, he takes gaming, takes something there. He applies it to real life situations. Um, he applies the things uh, outside of just the video game itself, because as we've talked about before, gaming to us is so much more than just, uh, you know, the video game itself. It, it's the ecosystem of it, right? It's, it's balancing work and life. And it's about balancing those relationships and how gaming can help you with those, how it can be difficult as well. And in this one, he talks about that, you know, about playing a video game that is only uh, a few hours in, in length, right? Um, where some games get um, shit on because they're only eight hours, or you know, it's only three hours of content, or four hours of content, or you know, things like that. But you find games also that are forty-hour games, or fifty-hour games, or when well, yeah, he says ten-hour games, but it's just padded with a bunch of just uh, filler content or thing, a busy work or things to keep you things to do to give you make you spend that much time playing, and it's not really necessary. Time is so valuable to us as human beings, and um, you know, whether you're an adult or you're, you know, a teenager or a kid playing, still time is important. You know, obviously kids are going to have more time to play games, but they have school and things like that. Um, but when they don't, they could, they could go through hours of playing it. But as we know, there are parents out there who don't want their kids sitting down and playing video games for hours and hours and hours on end. Um, so I can really relate to this because the last, you know, single player game that I really played and I streamed, um, enjoyed was, uh, the Uncharted series and um, The Last of Us. So games from Naughty Dog. What it is? I what he's called. I'm terrible at names. But I really enjoy it. I remember telling people I enjoyed it because I have like ADD of video games. Like I, I can play a game for a really long time. I have a, where I, like I really enjoy World of Warcraft and I can sit there and play it for hours and hours and hours and on the end and you know never get bored of it but for, for most games and shooters and, and even while wow, sometimes like i'll get burned out of a game really quickly and i won't play it again for a long time so i like these games that are you know five six you know hours of content that is awesome content i can really gauge to you know beat the game in one sit down i've played it for a long all day marathon or for a real binge series you know uh you know an eight game day um, but two days i can beat it and then move on to the next game it really helps to keep me engaged and helps me as a as a consumer of this content to really be to enjoy it doesn't have to be do it the last of us was amazing right i would love for it to kept going and kept going but this the length of it was perfect for me right i never got burned out on beating the same bosses over and over again or the same style or the same story just getting really dulled down they kept it engaging the entire time it was just long enough to where everything I was comfortable with the controls, but I wasn't feeling like it was all just muscle memory. I, it, it, it was a perfect amount of content for me personally. Um, and and I, I agree with him in this in this uh, blog, though, that, um, you know, life is busy. Sometimes you want to gain, you may have a busy day, but you still want to play a video game. and feel like you accomplished something, not just sat down and then mindlessly done something. Those short two, three hour video games can do that for you. Um, you know, if you have a little bit longer of a session, those, those six hour video games. And then if you have a game you want to grind down, you really want to work towards like World of Warcraft or Destiny or Warframe or any of these grindy games that have, you know, that take a lot of time, you have those worlds and they each serve, serve their purpose and what they're for. Um, in my opinion, one is not better than the other. Some games are better, right? You know, you, people have their preferences, but each of these game types and game, um, links have their place and their purpose. And so... Um, it really is important to notice that and to, to respect that even. Um, but that's all I got for you guys today. I just want to talk about that one. Here's another blog out. This Here We Go Again where he talks about Destiny 2, the new Forsaken expansion that came out. It's an awesome read if you love Destiny or if you're thinking about getting into it or just want to learn about it. Um, you can check that out on our website at thebrustseriously.com. Um, we really appreciate uh, if you guys take the time to like the videos, put a comment on it, subscribe to the channel, uh, share it, check out our other social media stuff. Uh, that'll be in the description below. Uh, all you guys are awesome. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow to uh, just to talk about the week and the weekend, what we're planning on doing. And um, I look forward to seeing you guys and talking to you. Until then, 
Have a great rest of your Thursday. Bye.